talk to, talk to us about about this game. You had the, the pressure yesterday and today to get a win and to get a big win, especially today. Talk to us about your focus, your mindset going to going into this game. Well, I mean, you know, as far as our teammates, we've been talking the whole week, and we said we have two options: is win or go home. So we just said to ourselves, we got to win each game, game by game. And we just got to take care of the one that's in front of us. The first game, win that one. Then go to the next game and win that one. And if we just take it one game at a time, we'll do great. Le preguntamos con relación a su a su mentalidad, a su preparación para el juego de ayer y el juego de hoy, especialmente el juego de hoy, sumamente importante frente al conjunto de San Carlos. Y él nos dice que han estado hablando durante toda la semana y y, y la estrategia ha sido jugar un juego a la vez. Un juego a la vez, un juego hoy, un juego la mañana y simplemente tratar de ganar. Ricardo, yes. you, uh, 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 the team won the game coming from behind yesterday. Yes. And what was the focus after this game to to play this game uh, and to, to get the win, to, to get this win? It's funny because the last, I don't know if you guys have been following us, but the last five games have been two-point loss, yeah. a couple-point loss. And it's really only been one or two possessions here and there uh, when Baker Lopez came and, and was coaching us up. So we knew we were right there at the, at the border. We knew we were about to turn the corner to win games. Um, and it was just keeping the focus. We've had explosive fourth quarters. If you guys have been watching, our fourth quarters have been 28 points, 29 points. We're just kind of a rhythm team where, you know, we get going. We don't, go too, we don't get too high on ourselves. And we don't, we don't ever get too low on ourselves neither because we feel like basketball is a game of possessions. It's a game of runs. Yeah. So they're going to make a run. They're going to score some points. And we're going to score some points. At the end, whoever tightens up the most defensively is the team that's going to go on to victory. Yeah. Yo le estuve preguntando sobre que ganaron el partido de ayer. Le estuve diciendo sobre que ganaron el partido de ayer viniendo de atrás. Y que cuál fue el enfoque luego de esa victoria para ganar este partido. Y él estuvo diciendo que todo... Ellos tuvieron cinco partidos que lo tuvieron perdiendo de dos, de dos puntos solamente, de dos o menos. Y que el enfoque fue luego correr, o sea, luego el tomar el ritmo poco a poco, jugar juego a juego, también enfocarse en no, o sea, enfocarse en no, en no solamente, el baloncesto es correr y crear ofensiva corriendo. Y eso fue, eso fue lo que él no estuvo diciendo. Ricardo, ¿qué ha sido la única cosa que ha cambiado desde que el coach López came into this team? Uh, well, I was only here, I played, I don't know if you guys know, I only played half a game. I came off the airplane and I played for Teresa. So I don't really know what was going on beforehand or whatever, you know. Um, it was just, to me, it was just another, co another coach coming in and then we just had to adapt to what he teaches, whatever his philosophy is. And we just had to, you know, come together as a team and do what he asked. And trust, trust in the fact that he knows what he's doing and just buy into what we're doing to get the wins and get the victories. You think that, that all the pieces right now are feeding into everybody is doing is doing their job and that's why everybody everybody is getting is getting some good some good games. Yes, absolutely. Um, I think uh, everyone's kind of just playing their role, playing what they brought us here to do. Um, Tyrus Wade is shooting the ball extremely well. The import, um, Chris Moore came in with a great attitude. As soon as he came in and he changed the culture of what was going on, everyone just seemed like they were upset. We were looking for something to, to grab onto to, to get the win and to get victories. We, everybody that plays basketball just wants success one way or another. And we were looking for that success. And when we, you know, these last couple of games, we, I think we found it. Now we just got to keep it going to the last two games of the season. Bien, le preguntamos con relación a que él entiende ha cambiado con relación al coach Derek Baker López. Nos dice que él solamente jugó una, una mitad de partido con, con Teresa Durán, así que realmente no sabe cuál ha sido el cambio verdadero. Él lo vio como un cambio de coach, como un cambio de dirigente y que hay que hacer las cosas que él le plantee. Ahora bien, se entiende que todo el mundo está jugando su rol, que todo el mundo está jugando la parte que debe hacer y por eso han tenido buenas actuaciones de manera colectiva y de manera individual. Como jugador. Ricardo, you won yesterday and won today. What's going to be the focus after this game? What's, what's, what's going to be the strategy after this game? Uh, same thing that's been working. You know, we don't, 
we're not going to change what we're doing. Uh, we're going to stick, stick with what we have, and we're going to stay focused, and we're going to take it one game at a time again. Yeah, yo le estuve preguntando, yo le estuve diciendo que ganaron ayer y ganaron hoy. ¿Cuál va a ser la estrategia? ¿Cuál va a ser el, fo el enfoque? Luego este partido, le estuvo diciendo de no cambiar nada, dejar todo igual como está, de seguir jugando como lo están haciendo y de seguir ganando partidos. Ricardo, one last thing, we want you to give a shout out to the people, to the people you love, the people, the people right, right now are following you and all the people from Crystal Ray, eh, all the fans from Huellas del Siglo. Uh, shout out to Crystal Ray. Uh, Huellas del Siglo. Um, I would like to say, Kamar, I love you. Caden, my son, I love you. Um, and all my family out there and all my family here in the country that's supporting me. And one, one more shout out to School of Hoops. That's our training company. Bien, le pedimos que diera, que diera un mensaje a todas las personas que él ama, a todas las personas que lo siguen, a todas las personas que siguen al conjunto Huellas del Siglo. Le dio un mensaje eh, a Kamala, that, that's, that's Kamar. You, Kamar. Come on, a su esposa. My son, my son Bien, le da un mensaje a su esposa Kamar, a su hijo Kaden y a todos los fanáticos de Boya del Siglo y a toda la familia que está aquí apoyándolo. Company, School of Hoops. Bien, y la escuela de Hoops. Thanks a lot, Ricardo. Thanks a lot. Uh, good luck the rest of the way. And we really appreciate this, this for you to take it, to take these minutes with us. Thank you for having me. Thank you.